Hello. How's it going? I'm back. I didn't stream uh, Monday. I was too... I was busy with something else. So I couldn't really stream then. Oh, and I'm back now with AI the Somnian Files. Now, no, this is not the Nirvana Initiative, I believe it's called. This is the first game. Because, well, I'm a prick. <laughs> it, <laughs> no, it, uh, it, I... I had heard about this game, right? But I've never really had the chance to play it. Why? I don't know. But now that the new game has come out, the game has been brought back to my attention. And when I looked at it on, well, you know, Steam, uh, the summer sale is going on, of course, and it was incredibly cheap. So I was like, well, the new game came out. Why not play the first? Because that makes sense somehow I don't, I'm I don't know it's I'm just I just want to play this I've been playing some uh, let's switch over actually I've been playing some different kinds of games lately with uh, Return of the Oprah Din, uh, Unheard, and Hyperlight Drifter. And I haven't really had a good story-focused game in a while. I mean, obviously those games have stories, but... I don't know, like I've already said multiple times before, I have a pretty uh, wide interest in games in different genres. Uh, and... One of my favorites is visual novels. I do I do quite like visual novels. Not necessarily anime games though. No. Like Final Fantasy, Xenoblade Chronicles, no interest at all. Absolutely not. But games like Persona 5, like I played the shit out of that game. One of my favorites ever. And I'm I'm incredibly excited that Persona 3 is coming to PC too. I can finally play that, and I, I honestly can't wait. I, I wanted to play Persona 4, but I didn't have a way, uh, a way to play it. But then when it came out on PC, I played it immediately, bought that shit day one. Like, I'm a huge fan of uh, these kinds of visual novels. That's just one genre though like like I said I've also played all of the Souls games also one of my, my favorite kinds of games I, I I can enjoy anything really I, like the the new Mario plus rabbits uh, kingdom battle game sparks of hope or something I'm gonna play the fuck out of that I enjoyed the first game so much even though if I look at Xcom it doesn't look fun but I've heard that that first Mario plus Rabbids game was a lot like it, so maybe I should take a look at it. Yeah, no, I, as long as the game is story focused, there's a good chance I'll like it, at least if it has a good story. If the story is batshit insane, well even then, it, it, I will probably enjoy it, but if the story is just flat out bad, with no kind of uh, humor to it, like. Something can be so bad that it's good, right? Oh, but if it's, if the story is just bad, then I'm not gonna play it. Like I play these kinds of games for the story. That's like my main focus. If it's got a good story, I can play anything. Doesn't matter what genre it is. That's why I like the Souls games because even those have a story. It might have happened in the past, but they do have a story, right? So that too. I also, I also really like Fire Emblem Three Houses, I'm, but but Fire Emblem Three Hopes does not look that fun to me. Why? Well, because Fire Emblem Three Houses had a lot of story focus from what I saw, so I bought it and it was, it was great. Three Hopes doesn't look the same. 
it might be. I don't know enough yet. I don't think anybody knows enough yet about that game. But if, if Three Hopes comes out and it appears that it has a great story, then I'll probably play it. That That's what I focus on in these kinds of games. Not even the writing. Like, the writing can be batshit, batshit insane. As long as the actual story itself is good, then I'm, I don't have a problem with it. Even an incredibly bad story with good writing can have some saving graces, you know? That can also be enjoyed. Yeah, no, AI. AI, yes, this game, that's the thing. Um, don't know a lot. I'm gonna be honest. I, yeah, no, I don't know a lot, actually. I just bought this on a whim. I, mostly I look at reviews a lot. I didn't, I didn't really. I was just like, oh, <laughs> game, I remember this. Second game is also coming out. Hup, bought, and now I'm streaming it, so now I'm here. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> I, uh, from what I've gathered, I, I've barely looked at the Steam, uh, Steam. What the hell is Steam? Uh, at the Steam page, too. Like, I think you're playing some kind of anime detective. I don't know. That's all, really. That's all I know. That's why it's the only thing in the title. It's all I fucking know. I don't watch anime. Like, at all. The closest thing I can say I watched, uh, that... Uh, the thing, something I watched that comes closest to being an anime is Pokemon, which I guess is an anime, but that, that, that barely counts. Come on, that's, I watched that like 10 years ago. I was a kid. The actual animes, I, I have never watched one. I have thought about watching them. But the only one that I would want to watch would be... Uh, the only one that would seem interesting to me is My Hero Academia. But even then, that, that's only because it doesn't look idiotic. If you look at animes like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, that just looks... what Like, what? Why does it look like that? <laughs> what the hell is going on there? You know, you know? Uh, that's that's like a, I feel like that's a commitment, right? Like if you watch one anime, you've got to watch them all. You're, you're going to be forced to, or otherwise the weeps are going to come to your house. You're never safe. <laughs> the weeps are on their way. All right. Well, I finished my drink. Yes, I was stalling because I wanted to finish my drink. I mean, I, I also want to talk about these. I'm not directly talking to anyone, but I want to talk about things. Because, you know, I mean, that's why I'm streaming, isn't it? Because I want to talk about things. Not necessarily the game I'm playing. See, this is like the this is like the actual first time I'm moving to the menu. And it's been like 14 minutes. Let's see, I already adjusted these. Special Agent Date Kaname. Is Dante my first name? I don't know. I don't, I'm not used to these kinds of names. Like, is it translated in the way that Dante is my first name? Or do they still stick with the Japanese naming thing? I mean, I'm liking this. Like, this is a good menu, so... I'm enjoying this. Brightness is good. Why is there a brightness option of all things? Uh, I'm gonna keep it on English. Scrolling, yes, sure. Fast forward, skip message. I don't know what this is. Why would I want to skip? Sure, skip mode, fast forward, all right. Music's good. I feel like there's not really anybody to test that. I mean, I can turn it down at any point, right, so. Sound effects sound good, how's the voice? Allow me to assist you. 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 
No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's just for the options. Um, do, I, do I have anything else to say? Why am I stalling this out? I should just, ah, just start up the game, streamer. Just the... <laughs> You're just... You gotta start this up now. Like, okay, Jesus Christ. Give me time. I, I, I'm the one in charge here. I can do what I want. Alright. So, uh, <laughs> There's complaining anyway. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, new game. Language. That was already in the menu. I don't know what these others are. I can't read them. So, English. Language cannot be sw Why? Why is that? Why? Why did that not be an option? Okay. I mean, I'm gonna go with English, of course, but still. This game supports autosave, and save icon is placed in the bottom. Do not close the game. Alright. Sure. Sorry, my nose is a little fucked up. I guess. I guess, I guess I'll say it like that. Fucked up, yeah, sure. Uh, this is a work of fiction uh, things. I uh, know. Sure, yeah. Lightning. Oh, okay. Can't wait for this shit to go off the rails. Immediately. Can't wait for God to get involved somehow. Okay, liking this so far. Okay, I'm liking this a lot. Okay. Carousel. Got the horses. Going around. Where are we going? So look at that. You're tied up. That's not good. Man, now we get to enjoy the carousel forever. Oh, that's a lot of blood, actually. Okay, well, you know. Maybe your forever didn't last that long. Yeah, no, you don't look so good. You, uh... And there goes your eye. It must have been a shitty carnival trip. Hey. Those are people. I know you from the screenshots. Let's go ride to carnival. Let's let's go ride to carousel to carnival. It's gonna be have a, It's gonna be such a great time. Ah, my eye. <laughs> Day one, Friday. Sig AI. And words I cannot read. Bloom Park. Friday, ten fifty four p.m. Bloom Park. That's a name. Well, this is a sad situation, isn't it? Are we just gonna stand here? During, quote unquote, investigations, why is that in quotes? The main character, Date, inspects scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor and your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. Oh. My god, there is... A lot here. Sky. This rain is depressing. Has been like this all day. Sky. It doesn't look like it's letting up any. Sky.
Okay. That's what I was trying to test. So if you've examined if you've got everything from the examination, the word turns grey. Okay, that's good enough. See these skyscrapers crowd each other. A red barrier line wrapped around the scene. In the old days they used to use yellow caution tape for this. Now we've got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Well, sometimes we use good old-fashioned yellow tape. A hologram barrier. It's a bench. Who knew? A horse from the merry-go-round. Oh, hello. It looks like it's skewered. This is not a message from the criminal. The park was already in this state before the crime. Who the fuck are you? Are we just gonna go over this? What? Why is there why, why is there a big eye panda? My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Thanks? I Iba? The horse is pierced upside down. It looks almost pitiful. Okay. What? It's a parasol. A parasol is getting pelted by the rain. Awesome. Great info. Oh, what the Ferris wheel? The old Ferris wheel's over there. It feels like an enormous eye is staring down at you. Get it? Get it? AI? Oh, God. This game is oh, genius writing. The panda ride looks lonely. Why is there only one? Why is it all the way over there? Roof. It's been eight years since Bloom Park closed. The weather's gotten to it pretty bad. Who are you? When we speak to a person, you will be presented with choices and look. Use the choices to select the topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you are speaking to. I call her Boss. She runs Abyss, a special branch of the Metropolitan Police Department. I report directly to her. Right now she's standing in the pouring rain with her umbrella up. Right now she's standing in the pouring rain. Okay, well, I guess if it's green that means there are things I can talk to still. Okay. <laughs> um, so what am I doing here? Are you serious? Hi. Your special agent, Kaname Date. Why are you telling me my name? I know this. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I have I do? to tell you. You deserve to know. I do? I... It's awful, huh? God. It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. What do you mean usable prints? She's under a roof. She's under a roof. We can... We can look for prints. The rain isn't gonna get under there. Okay, you know what? Sure. Uh, who found a body? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. God, the rain is awful. Huh? <laughs> Two hours ago, somebody heard screaming. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. After finishing discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain important information or clues. Selecting a log will allow you to keep recap any previous conversations. I know this. I just checked. Any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. Copycat? A case six years ago. A case six years ago? Of course, there's always 
a case six years ago. For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago? There's always a case six years ago. Have you not played Phoenix Wright? There's always an old case. Okay, her tell me about the victim. Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? Nadami Shoko. What, what do you have to face? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. That's such a... Why are you making that face? That's such a weird face to make. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. Okay, so that's all we're gonna get from her. There's a fence set up around the merry-go-round, partly to prevent nosy kids from getting caught in the machinery. It's a fence. A local cop. Great. Local cop. How's the investigation coming? Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Great. Thank you, policeman. An inspector from Metro. I hope he finds a lead. Anything to go on? Not yet, sir. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. It's Kagami, sir. Kagami. Uh, thanks for coming out here in this mess. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Okay. Um, what's your... Wait, what? It's Kagami, sir. Oh, no. Kagami. Oh, no. Are you serious? It's Kagami! What's your name? I already learned his name. I don't need to ask him again. What? Pretty sure I know his name. He told me already. His name is... Uh, what was it? <laughs> oh, God. What, what, God, what was his name again? Hey. What'd you say your name was? Hey, what'd you say your name was? Hey. Hello? Hey. I know you can hear me, Kagami. So you do know my name. Date. He's expecting the scene now. God. You ruined it! Damn you! God. God, we, we were fooling him so hard, Date. You were like, ah, oh, hey, Kagami, what's your name? God, you ruined it. Yeah, you idiot. Is this the control room? Uh, okay, wait. Let's give it, let's give it a voice. The place where the operator sits to turn the right on and off. I took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Merry go around the control room. There are no leads here. Uh, look at the horse. It's a horse for the merry-go-round. Column. It's the main column holding up the roof. I guess all I've got is the corpse, don't I? Actually, no. Pool. It's a metal pool. Thank you for that insightful information. The body is mounted to one of the horses. I should get a better look. I took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? Kagami, get out of the way. What are you doing? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. But I am the detective. I appreciate your understanding. I will stare at you, Kagami. Allow me to assist you. Who are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's Aiba. Her official designation is AI Ball. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An AI for an eye. Ha. Ha ha ha. G you want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. The zoom. 
While playing for the story, iBot's special vision modes may help you obtain new information. You can now use the zoom mode to enlarge the target. Select zoom and examine the corpse. You can also view the controls in a button. Wow. So, controls, select, slash, investigate. That's the same as X. Move, iBus vision modes. Free cursor. Options, message log. It's going to skip. Auto map. The menu contains a number of functions, such as file, flowchart, options, and guide. This game will auto save, but you can also save manually with save. If you'd like to end the game, you can return to the title screen at the top menu in the top right of the screen. Oh, there's a flowchart. File allows you to read information about people you've spoken to or terms you've heard. It's updated as the story advances. Date. Nami Date, sex male. H30, August 3rd. Police Officer of Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. So that's what ABYSS stands for, Metropolitan Police Department. Likes classic cars, Curry, Benito, Pelvis. Wait, what? Wait. Does that mean what I think it means? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna ignore that. Dislike self-boiled eggs. Okay, collects vintage magazines. That's really weird. What? Reaction time increases 3.6 times under certain conditions. Wow. What a skill. As a, as a, as a, as, as a, 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 a sinker? Data uses the sink machine to dive into the minds of suspects of persons of interest. He lost his eye six years ago, but replaced it with a prosthetic eye, which houses an advanced artificial intelligence known as an AI ball. He also lost all his memories past six years ago. So this incident six years ago also involved Date losing an eye. Am I correct on that? I'm going to assume I'm correct on that. Aiba. Sex female according to settings. Age five. Huh. Likes insects, spiders, crustaceans, and binary. I'm not going to bother looking at what that means. Dislikes dirty jokes and going outside the simulation. Hobbies. Sneaks outside the Dante's eye socket while he's sleeping and makes mischief. Damn it, Iba. Skills hacking, fluoroscopy, voice imitation, 3D modeling. Overview, Iba is an autonomous artificial intelligence. She usually takes the shape of an eyeball and resides in Dante's left eye socket. She assists Date by gathering information connected to networks and databases and using her X-ray and thermographic functions. Uh, and boss, age 42, you do not look 42. Likes wine, gourd, dolls, and anything black. Dislikes, dislikes happy family. Why? Why would you? What? Why would you? Wait, oh God, these people are just so fucking happy. God, I'm gonna fucking kill them. Jesus Christ, boss, calm down. Going to clubs, grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, and making them obey. Aha. Uh -huh. Boss is today's direct superior and longtime friend. She appears to be an easygoing optimist with a carefree attitude, but she is as cunning as a fox with a quick wit. Why is she number 12? Appendix. Abyss. Tests are conducting criminal investigations by understanding and penetrating the human mind. They are stationed six floors underneath MPD headquarters. Few know of their existence, even among the police. Oh my god, that's a lot of words. An area over which a police department has authority and responsibility. Yeah, I know what that means. Tips. Okay. <laughs> ah. 
Sorry, Jesus. Uh, God. All right. Let's see. Uh, Tips menu, file, flowchart, everything. Oh, got the flowchart. Oh, Jesus. Wait, there's an album? Okay, interesting. Oh boy, here we go. To check the story's progress and branching points, a flowchart. This will be filled out as the story advances. By selecting a chapter and investigation progress, you can jump to any point in the story. I can just go immediately to file. I can zoom in. Called a rainy day, uh, Friday night, November. The body of a woman was discovered in a merry go round event in an amusement park known as Bloom Park. The corpse was found and displayed in one of the horses. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave that for now. And I can't go to the map. Okay. Soon. Oh, well, here we are. Hello. Ah, oh, jeez, this is probably really irritating. <laughs> Hello, miss, how is it going? I can't move. Anywhere else? Okay, uh, face, left eye, right eye, and face, body, arm, arm. The victim's arms are tied behind her back with rope. The same rope wraps around her body in the pole directly behind her. No, why would they do that? Well, to tie her up, of course. Her, arm, her arms are tied behind her back. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. And there was a scream two hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. But there was a scream two hours ago, then who screamed? Several puncture wounds, but no cuts or tears. That means... The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. That's really specific. Multiple puncture wounds on her body. I am detecting signs of increased stress in her body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, alright? I'm just... upset. Oh yeah, you knew her. Yeah, okay, yeah. Remember that I also saw her several times. Though it has been quite some time since we last saw her. Of course, she's fucking dead. I can't look at her face anymore. Look at her right eye then, that's better. Yo, dude, no shit. The eye of a dead woman. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. Ow. That must have sucked. I carved it out while she was still alive. Correct. What was that? What the hell? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? Ooh. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, I definitely did. I couldn't tell where it came from, though. Did you hear that? A sound? I didn't hear anything. How? Kagami. You heard it too, sir? I wonder what it was.
Uh oh. Nice game from his side. Use me to see through the collar. Utilize the X ray mode. That's a good solution, actually. Maybe I should leave it on auto. Why do we have an x-ray mode? Oh, there's just a person in there. <gasps> oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. I threw down my umbrella and ran into the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up! I pushed him aside and ran up on the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Why would she lock it, though? Hey, whoever's in there, stay back. What the hell are you doing? Mizuki. Mizuki? What? Who? Wait. Date, why do you know all these people? What? Why do you know these people? God, this was my classmate from 10 years ago. This reminds me of the time last year when another classmate got killed. Which reminds me of the time a few months ago when another one of my classmates got killed. Which reminds me of the time two days ago when my teacher got killed. Weird coincidence. What? What is this place? This is your dream. What? I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? What? Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. What? All right, then. Who are you? I'm me, of course. That doesn't... That voice. Iba? What? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? <laughs> you look like food, Iba. <laughs> Get on the plates! I've got my fork with me. <laughs> it just so happens I'm in the mood for some shrimp. What are you talking about? I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. No, I buy you look like a shrimp. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... Shrimp is good taste. What are you doing in my dream? You called me. I don't have a phone, Iba. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. Why have why is this the first time? Convenience for story purposes, Iba. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. Oh, okay, oh, you know what? That explains it. That's fair. Okay, well that that explains it. Okay, guess it's not the first time. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I'm trying to sort out my situation, but my brain isn't cooperating. It must be because I'm sleeping right now. So things that I should know, I can't remember. My head is all fuzzy. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. There's a shrimp in here. Putting that aside, 
Do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Why is there a skeleton in this room? I got. Somnium. What? Iva, what are you doing? I... Iva, what's going on? Why are we being thrown into this? Uh. Hmm. Got it. What? Got what? Was all of that just for you to be like, aha, I'm thinking. What? I have completed a scan of your Somnium. Your dream world. My what? My simulations have encountered several mental locks. What? Mental locks. Me have you already forgotten? <laughs> Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Like you've got anything to say, Iba. You look like a shrimp. I don't suppose they've got... They've got a lot of critical thinking. Huh? <laughs> In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. Why is it always the same sound, Iba? This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. But Iba, why the fuck are we here? Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? But for what, Iba? I don't... Look at my face. I... I am incredibly confused right now. Correct. Iba, what are you talking about? You're insane. So I just need to... Turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Uh, I can see where this is going. Dante, no, no, well, no. Well, I suppose that is true, but... Dante? Dante, she's a shrimp, all right? Come on, calm down. All right, let's do this. Dante, don't get so excited. No. Wake Dante up. Dante's dream world. This strange is a real dream. Trust the light to wake up Dante. Insomnia, you explore a dream to discover the subjects in memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. A guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. First, move Iba close to the door and investigate. Okay, but why is there... You can see your current location and objectives you've investigated on your Somnia map. If you are lost or want to save time, try checking the map. Whoa. 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 This is so weird. This is so weird. What? Why is there... Th I did not expect it to be 3D movement. Is this like an escape room? Are we doing zero escape? Are we doing... Are we having a zero escape moment? A door locked with a padlock. When investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give Ibad instructions. For now, have Ibad investigate the door. Alright. Here's all I have to do is open this door. Hmm. I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. What are you looking at? I'm not here. I'm not here, Iba. What are you looking at? This is my dream. This is Date's Somnium. A reality built by dreams. You're just staring at the space. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. That's a thing. Every human mind is unique. 
Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes magical. What was that? Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your but I, I don't know. I don't remember anything past six years ago. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You I'm sure it's not going to be important later. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed, Stop smiling like that. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't they stop flying like that? Don't forget that I have a veto. In Insomnium World, you are able to investigate objects that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Move Iba over to it and investigate. Can't we just like open the curtain? Why why not open the curtain? Oh, who would have, who would have thought? A lot of light just came through. I have a please. Just open the fucking window. So much light is gonna come through. Like it's gonna hit everything. It's gonna hit the dead guy. It's gonna come alive again. Like we're Jesus. Cause the switch is not gonna do anything. Cause it's blocked by tangible roots. So that's the plan to it. Iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. Well, like Bloom Park. Um, grab it. It's remarkably solid. I can hardly believe it's a plant. It's symbolic of my lifestyle. Put your roots down and stand your ground. Or perhaps it just means you are an inconvenient annoyance. Shut up, shrimp. I... You were able to touch it. Correct. So I just need to keep this up? Something like that. D do I need to smell it? Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. But Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Shrimps can do that. Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? What? Uh, okay. What the fuck? Really game. Suction. Bravo. Marvelous. Really game. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? What the fuck? You can check your progress on the left side of the screen. Your actions just now advanced your progress. Richie Anticlutisonium. Date, what the fuck? Oh no. That's how you know it's anime. That's how you know. We're barely an hour in. We're not even an hour in. We're barely half an hour in. God, look at this. Look at this turning speed. My god, she's crazy. I didn't know shrimps could turn this fast. A switch. The thorns are gone. Now I can activate the switch. What Isn't the fuck was that? Rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. Yay! Mental lock opened. But there's another mental lock in the Somnium. Unlock the next mental lock using the guide. Open the door. You can all check the tutorial by. Okay. So I guess. Wait, I can't open the door now. No, okay. I mean, this is a lamp, right? Come on. Uh, lift up. Bring it over to the door. It won't move. Must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. God, I'm so fucking cool. 
I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. Tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. Jesus Christ, out there. A lamp. I uh, kick it. <laughs> what? You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, didn't even budge. I or kick it harder. Skeleton skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? Oh, that's a, that's a creepy smile. You a thug? I can investigate the skeleton now. What's in the basket? A basket. <laughs> I cannot see inside it. We'll search it. Tackle what? A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra and a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. Date, There's please. A trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Oh, the score has blood on its left eye. Oh. There's also wine. A glass of wine. Investigate it. A luxurious red wine, popular on the market today. However, this appears to be a much brighter red than a typical bottle. Maybe it's a full-bodied red from Bourgogne. I wonder if that trivia will ever prove useful. Better to be prepared. I know my wine, Iba. I've studied it for years. What did you think I was doing in school? I thought wine. you I thought you were studying to be this detective. Date? I was studying my wine, I uh, I know everything about it. Mm. The nose is fresh yet rich. I detect smooth tannins and stone dates. <laughs> Where did you learn that from? Why would you have something like this in your dream? I already told you. I studied this for years. God. Even a guy like me enjoys good drinks. Social engagements never seem to turn out well for you. Stop. Don't remind me. Uh, I'm enjoying this game so far. I mean, Gate is being incredibly horny right now, but that's... <laughs> I mean, I'm enjoying this game for the rest. I don't know if I should drink the wine. I'm gonna investigate the skeleton. I'm gonna leave it for later. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Uh, investigate it first. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. How it's oh, bone? Bones die and stay dead, but they should. Alright, kick the thing. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hit it, shrimp! Hi Jesus. What? Black look, the wall. Um Hey, so like, um, what the fuck? Great, it died. I should have drank the wine. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Yes, Iba. My love for wine and shrimp has caused me to want to destro destroy everything that's not any of those two things. Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. He didn't really look that old. 
Boss is sleep talking. In Heinem's insomnia, there's always one somewhere. No more, I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. What? What do you mean a hidden item? What? They one day be acquired. What? What was that? We got an album photo. You can earn album photos by finding hidden items for clearing insomnia with more than one second remaining. Make a few photos you collect at any time. Collect them all. Wow, look at her. Ah. So stimulates the X-ray mode. Trunk. Crystal puncture ruin jurisdiction. Pupil dilation. I swear to trials fall in this category. Okay, nothing nothing too impressive or hard to understand. Mzuki. Age 12, birthday July 6. Metal, metal pipes? What? Dislikes how Dante holds chopsticks. Fucking. Fucking great. So this martial arts and enjoys emotionally attacking Dante. Jesus Christ, Mizuki, you're 12. <laughs> Mizuki is Renju Okura and Shokun Adami's daughter. Although she's not related to Dade, he became her de facto guardian four years ago. The two have lived under one roof ever since. Huh. Wait, then that is Shoko. What? Just like someone who hurt her in their past. Skills, lying, and cheating. Great. Shoko is the ex-wife of Renju Okira and Mizuki's mother. On a Friday night in November, she was found in a merry-go-round. Okay. Huh. God, this whole blowing my nose thing, is, nose thing is really tiring me out. I wanna play that game though. So that's how a hidden item looks. What's that drawing? A man, a woman, and their daughter. Well, we saw the man just now. There's also a woman sitting on the couch. What the fuck is there a gun here? A gun came out of the skull? Investigate. Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Who the fuck is Who saying that, Aiba? That from? A gun. Pick it up. It won't go off? No, nah, no, nah, you're gonna be fine. That should be fine. <laughs> Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. What? Is it supposed to remind me on any of anyone? Why do I have a gun? Okay. A door locked with a padlock. Put the gun in the keyhole. You know what, sure. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Just oh, try it. Just the tip. Oh my god. I suppose. Of course it worked. Of course it worked. I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. Seems I was key in helping us escape. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. What the hell is the point of this? What? I'll open it.
What? 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 Who are these people? What? Why is that so fucking colorful? They too. Psych I AI. Psych I what? Psych? <laughs> Hello. This is a very decorated office. Good morning, Date. So I got a new album, right? Earth wine. That's a concept art. That's pretty cool. What the hell? Date, what? Ah, uh, now her human form is here. I was waiting for you. Try something. Uh, da, da, da. So there we go. Alright, I've got some hotkey set up so now the music would cut out every time I need to mute the mic. Oh my god, you have so many things here. Why do you have so many things here? Like it? It reminds me of you, Date. What the key? My name is Konami. I got you for key, can be read as Konami. That's not my real name. I don't know my real name. I don't know anything about myself past six years ago. It's a large key. Reminds me of you, boss. <laughs> you have many faces, one inside the other. Great comeback, Dante. You really got it there. Go. I'll never get to the real you. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one. The smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. Wow, that's some deep shit. A cabinet. A chair. Shelves. Wow, some really insightful dialogue right here. Bags hang on a rack. Inside the bags are masks, like for little costume parties. Why, what the hell are you doing here? The entrance. Oh my god. A tombstone. Rip. There are wine bottles lined up. Hey boss, did you know? I've studied everything about wine for years. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Why do you know this? Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I just want that we're really on the same page today. I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. 
tell him all my stories when I get lonely. What? <laughs> this was the moment? Walking in here and seeing the decorated room didn't make you wonder about her mental health immediately? Talks? Oh my god, look at the face. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. Boss's old love interest must have been an athlete. Interesting. Why is that interesting, Date? Date? You think it's true that a Tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to ten square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. What? What? What are you- what? <laughs> Why is that- what the hell was that? <laughs> Boss? <laughs> it's a King Shogi piece, isn't that just great? I can't live without coffee. I love it smooth and dark. Oh god, this game- oh no, this game is really horny, isn't it? That's a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh, yeah? How much? Ten billion yen. But why? That's not worth it at what all. What are you, in elementary school? What's this desk? There are stickers all over the front. The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. Like <laughs> you and me. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. Were we her ex-boyfriend? She has a computer on her desk. The time that has a monitor built in. A bookshelf. It's full of files and binders, but I don't know of what. It's got books, manga, movies, games, all sorts of stuff. What is she doing here? A pumpkin carved like a jack-o'-lantern. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? What if that pumpkin's name was Bill? Bill o Lantern? Sorry, it was funnier in my head. What? No. What? A happy birthday banner decoration. Why do you have this? So, if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. God, man, wonder when that's gonna happen. Probably not gonna be long, for, long from now. A public bathroom curtain. Why does she have this here? What's she doing here? Skis. Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? Okay, I thought we were gonna have a nice conversation about Hey Dante, do you like skiing? Ah yes boss, I sure do love skiing, do it every year. No! What? It's Weep Sherlock Holmes, hi Tamala. Yeah, no, it this. Yeah, yeah, basically, it's Weep Sherlock Holmes, that's... That's what I've gained from this. <laughs> Just Oh god. Sus. Uh, have you uh do you know about this game, Tamala? Or do you not know anything about it? Nothing at all. No, I uh I heard I heard of this game like right when it came out. Then I forgot about it. <laughs> uh, but there uh, was a second game that released just a couple days ago, I think. And 
when I heard of that, I looked it back up on Steam. And boom, there it is in the summer sale. So I was like, okay, hey, sure, why not? But yeah, no, it is basically Weep Sherlock Holmes. That's what I've gotten from this. Murder case at the restore resort called Spur. Just not gonna elaborate on that. Skis. Just gonna leave it at that. Okay, thanks, but and very insightful. <laughs> In the previous three games or so, something tells me you're into puzzle games. Well, not necessarily. It's more like uh, mystery kind of games, right? Like I'm, uh, I, I would say that as long as anything has a good story, that I can get into it. it. Doesn't really matter what kind of genre it is. It's not necessarily puzzle games. I do feel like it has to have a, some kind of story, right? Like I, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of Tetris, you know. But games like Return of the Ober Dinn, like that's, that's great. Like that's a great way of storytelling. I don't know if this game is a lot like puzzles. I do feel like it's more a visual novel. So big on mystery and thriller. And I've I've only really gotten into mystery a lot like the past <laughs> the past few weeks. For some reason. Or at least it's been a while since I've played mystery games and I'm going on like a whole week spree of, or a whole month of playing mystery games one after the other well i mean i did play uh the great ace attorney last year so i guess i guess that counts the snowboard but thank you <laughs> that's great why can i examine literally everything There's some very insightful commentary from our uh, from a boy I here. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. It's great. A symbol, God. Fuck. Oh my God. It's gonna do it everywhere, isn't it? It's just gonna be like, ah, oh, poster. Ah, oh, man. Would you look at this poster? Why do you have all of this? Why is your office like this? Why do you have a stationary bike? How is this a police poster? <sighs> yup. They're all my husbands. Uh-huh. Lost a single body. Okay, thank you for the thank you for the clarification. Thank you. I, I hadn't gotten it. No. I th I think she was joking. So from like the hour I've played so far, I feel like this game is incredibly, how should I say this, horny, so to say. Obviously, I mean, it's it's anime, that's standard, but this, like it's been an hour. I've already seen a lot of that from our main character, Date, here. Dude, yeah. Let's see. You know, the thing is, some of these exam uh, some of these things that I can examine actually give some dialogue. That's my grandpa's death mask. Excuse me, what? Guy had a huge face. <laughs> Boss's grandfather's death mask. What the fuck is a death mask? Why do we not? Why do we not elaborate on these things? You're just gonna casually mention a murder case with the fucking skis over there. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? So you're just gonna leave it here for a year. Mean taking that thing down and putting it up again. Okay, well, I mean that's that's kind of understandable, I'd say. And it's been here since the first time you were in this room. Okay, well that's that's a little. That's a little much. What do you mean a lot of... 
I can see two umbrellas and a few clothes hangers. What? You're very observant, are they? I haven't seen one of these in a while. It's just a poster, another poster, another cabinet. Are we done? Is that everything? Is that all? No, we still got the AC vent. Cold air's blown from the AC. Stop ogling me. I am not ogling you. Great, that's worth it. Death mask is a likeness of a person's face after their death, usually made by taking a cast or impression from the corpse. Death masks may be mementos of the dead or be used for creation of portraits. So, you're telling me that that's how her grandpa looked? That... I doubt that that's an exact replica. I sincerely doubt that's how her grandpa looks. Are you joking again? Is that a thing you like? Why is... I can examine this again. It's a pen adoring the vault. That was definitely worth it. Do we have everything now? Just talking to you left? That's it? That's all? We're done. Alright. How's it going? Sitting on desk casually. Yep. Um. Okay, let's. Uh, how, how's the room? I haven't cleaned this place up. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumi Gaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Uh huh. Yeah. What about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. So you just decorated with literally everything you you find. You've got pumpkins in here. Those things are gonna rot. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. Fun, huh? I mean, you're really forcing the party thing with the happy birthday sign right there. Like, I can understand the Christmas tree, even the dark board, but why do you need happy birthday... A fucking policeman statue. I can even understand the soccer balls or the RC car, but what? Like, why do you have skis? I mean, come on. You're not gonna go skiing. I'm, okay, well. If there's a skiing facility, six stories on the ground here, then I can understand, but I sincerely doubt it. How's the investigation going? Who do you think I am, Dante? Well, boss, it says it right there. Uh, my boss? <laughs> Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police. Well, who would have guessed? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. So, from memory disorder, yeah. Uh, don't remember anything past six years ago. Yeah, I read that. And having flashbacks recently, fragments of my past. What does your name have to do with our investigation? Yeah, wait a minute. I asked you about the investigation. What's your name have to do because with if it? if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, so, nothing to report then. Got it. Okay, you're lazy. Uh, Mizuki, the girl we found there. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. I mean, she was lying in a hospital. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Were we the ones to do that? Yeah. I don't... Okay, yeah, we were. Okay. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian, then. No. She just lives with me. Why are we connected to this case so much? Like... Mizuki Okiura. The girl we found in a merry-go-round. She's 12 years old and in the 6th grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood-related. Sort of like a stray cat that found a way into my own. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. So, like, Dante, why the hell are you so connected to this case? I've got our victim here, Shoko. And Mizuki is the daughter of Shoko, 
And you are, and she's living with you. Like what? Medicine for hospital. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna bother looking at these things. I mean, unless I specifically look for something. Those are Japanese people overly stylistic character designs. I don't know. I mean, you see that a lot of those uh, in these kinds of games and anime, don't you? Like, just very over-the-top designs. You rarely see just a dude. I don't watch a lot of anime, but I, I, do, I have played uh, a few JRPGs and everything. So I do, I do know what you're talking about. It's very over-the-top. <laughs> I mean, boss here looks uh, fairly normal, I guess. I mean, Date though, da Date does look like with all the purple. That is a bit over the top. Not that much. I've seen crazier. I s believe me, I've seen crazier, but th this is pretty tame so far. Uh. Any leads at all? I don't know if I would call them leads. Boo! Okay, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I see what you mean. Yeah, that's uh, that's not what I meant though. I mean, I I already said that this game is pretty lewd, uh, so I you know that's to be expected. But in terms of like clothes and hair, she's pretty tight. It's not it's nothing crazy, right? Like it's not. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it, it's a bit lewd, but this game is already established that that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> oh, God, I'm kind of scared of how far this game is going to take it. <laughs> Shuker mommy. Oh, no. <laughs> what about the ice pick? The ice pick? Oh, yeah, the ice pick. Oh, yeah, Mizuki was holding something that's probably the murder I'm weapon. Was Mizuki's hand. We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. I mean, I don't expect these things to have serial numbers. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. Great deduction there, guys. <laughs> wow, this ice pick. It fits the wounds and everything. The blood is even correct. I think this is the murder weapon. Uh, can I look at this again? The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence okay. is really stacking up against her. I mean, she's 12. Come on. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Any other information, Renju? Okay, let's keep going this uh, down see. this way. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database, although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's uh, part of the reason why I assigned you to this. I mean, not me. Nadami, Shoko. Okay, well, here we go. Backstory. Residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Because of that, so that's Renju. Date and Renju were so called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Okay. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. Okay, well that, that's a good summary. Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. Why the fuck do we not have a cell phone? Date, what are you doing? I don't need a cell phone. I'll just I'll just run to the people I want to talk to. Date, that's not how this works. You're being incredibly inefficient. <laughs> oh, how about 
the case six years ago. Hey, Sigma mindset. The case you brought up yesterday. One that happened six years ago. What do you mean? I mean, well, I, I'm just questioning. I'm just questioning why he doesn't have a cell phone. I mean, I understand he lost his. He doesn't know anything that happened uh, past six years ago, but still. He's got six years to go and get himself a cell phone. Why does he not have one? Is that gonna be explained, or is or are they just like, yeah, no, this guy is too poor? Well, I mean, we clearly have a job, so it can't be that we're too poor to afford a cell phone. So, so the only thing I can imagine is that he truly does have a sigma a sigma mindset and just runs to everyone that he wants to talk to. Doesn't even use email. Dante, forget about it. Hardcore skeptic. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away. And <sighs> look, it was a slip of the tongue. Okay, shouldn't have said anything. Sure. Hey. Okay. Hey. Look, boss. I know. I know enemy. Pl I know anime plots. All right. If you're gonna say, "Oh yeah, no, that one case six years ago I just mentioned," uh, don't worry about it. It's not gonna be important. I think we can be fairly certain that it's gonna be important, but you're just not gonna tell us for plot reasons. <laughs> and if you, uh, if we go to Date's file. Uh, lost his eye six years ago. So we've got something to do with that. Clearly. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. Well, who, who was the other killer? So it's not necessary for you to know Give me about some, past But cases. I'm curious. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. No, come on, Dante. Get her. Just give it up, Dante. Don't. No, keep asking. Come on, <laughs> keep going. I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. Even if you took me to the finest club in Kabuki Cho and showered me in Dom P. My lips are sealed. I don't know what that. I don't know what Dobby is. But why, boss? <laughs> it's top secret, classified. It was that bad, huh? See, there we go. A reason it was a it was a classified case. Bam! There we go. Just say that immediately. Interpret it. There we go. I'm gonna keep asking. Give it a rest, Dante. No. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. This isn't harassment or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. Oh my god. I've barely started the game, guys. Iba, shut up. I... Go. I'm gonna keep asking. Just promise me you'll let this go. No. It's a delicate issue. Even more delicate than my patience. So drop it. That's an order. Understood? Got the <laughs> okay. I'm just I'm definitely not going to get anything else out of her. She can be surprisingly stubborn sometimes. Dante, no, come on. We can do this, man. We can push through our defenses. Oh, you picked okay. up Renju. Yeah. That was the that was. Uh, that was the guy. That was Shoko's husband. He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Renju is Shoko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Not to mention an old friend of mine. Because of course, I'm connected to fucking everything. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. Oh, sus. The local police tried his phone too, but it got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. Well, at least he has a phone. Wait, Dante, how did you call him? You don't have a cell phone. How did you... What? 
How did how did you call him? Did you use a landline? I mean, okay, I guess landlines are a thing. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. Did you ident ever identify who called it in? Yeah, okay, so... When we went to investigate the body, we concluded that the body has been dead for eight or six hours. I don't remember which one. Uh, but two hours before we got there, somebody heard a scream and call and called it in. And the policeman went to check it out and found the body. So, first off, who screamed and who the fuck called it in? That's the two people we need to identify. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. You should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. Payphone? Right, we're fucked then. <laughs> How are we ever gonna find this guy? Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. What, just to report that they killed someone? Hey, I killed a dead body over there. Oh, what the hell. Is that how you manifest? You just pop out of my eye. Well, if you wasn't convinced that this is anime now... If you wasn't convinced Hello. that this was anime yet... Here we are. I about what the hell? I can barely see now thanks to you. I'm half blind. No, not hello. Get back in my eye. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. But I can barely see. Well, still. <laughs> this is just a fucking... Ah, okay, I'm gonna throw you. I can see myself looking around. Oh, that is so weird. God, we've got a really versatile neck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, you first. Why'd you come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're an AI. What are you... What do you mean? You're joking, right? It's been five years since we first met. One day, I got called into the control room, and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. Flashback? The ah, here we go. The official title is AI Ball. Okay. So, um... Over-the-top character designs, right? Can we go back to that? I think I found I think I found a culprit here. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. The Wadget System? Why that? Why did you call it that? Special Agent Dante, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Just a flashback. I've just been living in my head ever since. She got her info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. It lets us talk without actually speaking. Uh, why did you come out? Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. And you couldn't just say that? To me? Why could you not have me say it? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date. But that would have been less efficient. Less efficient? I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? 
Really? Um, okay, let's... Sure, let's ask. Who did it? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. Nice. So you found a way into that database. That is correct. Okay, wait, so you just hacked. You just hacked the police department. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? What? Who the fuck is this kid? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old. Male. Okay, so first off, he does not look 24 years old. This... That... He does not look 24. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Wait, no. Not yet. We are able to visit the new destination. Map will appear in the bottom right of the screen. Open up the map and pick a destination. No one to check the tutorial. Yes, I know. Now I'm gonna keep talking. I. Who are you? Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. I forgot. <laughs> okay, let's take the bait. You're kind of cute like that. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. From who? Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Oh my god. Nope, not cute at all. Okay, back inside. No. What? What? You can't... I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> She's just gonna say no like that, huh? Boss, what do you think of all this? So, but I Hey, boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? <laughs> <laughs> Can we make her nice? <laughs> I don't like her, boss. Don't ask me. I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea, though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. Pewter? You can thank Pewter for that. I'm gonna kill that guy. I've been thinking a lot lately. About myself. If I have another mind inside me, am I... Really me? Of course, your two minds, Jesus Christ. You, your other mind is sitting on the fucking table right now, Dalte. <laughs> it's right there. You can see it right there. In fact, if you want to, you can put it on the ground and squish it with your foot. It's not that hard. Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rambeau once wrote. Who the fuck? I is another. Boss, what are you talking what? about? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. What? Boss, what does that mean? For my eye. Hey, so... About my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. Why not? What? Sure, hey, you know what? Whatever you want. What does love mean to you? Stop tight. Dante, we gotta talk about this, man. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm just smiling and looking around. Dante, we gotta talk about this. Why? Oh, okay. Alright, sure. Where's this going? Where is this coming from? Just okay. answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? I'm right, aren't I? You dork. That hurts, you know. 
Uh, you were making a joke. Okay, you know what? I can respect that. I can respect it. You're making a joke. I can, I can respect that, honestly. Ranger's in here now. 37. Likes unusual things, dislikes ordinary things. That's... Not very... It's very vague, Ranju. Manages the entertainment office, lemon skate, and maid cafe sunfish pocket. Of course, there's always a maid cafe. Why is there always a fucking maid cafe? Why is that always a thing? Why? Why the fuck is dork in here? I know what dork means. Medical condition in which a person cannot speak. Oh, okay. Well, okay, well that, that was kind of interesting. Like, I don't need the definition of central hospital, but... It... Oh, Dompy, here. World famous champagne. That's what she was talking about. Oh, I can look at myself. Hello, me. Did you know? That the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China. What? Dante, what? Dante, what are you talking about? Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? What? what? Yeah, just a little trivia for you. But I'm why? I'm full of useful information. Useful, sure, yeah. What the fuck? Who are you? Sure. Who are you? My name is Konami Date. I work as a special agent for the investigations. Oh my this MPD. You're just talking to yourself, just that's <laughs> you are a handsome looking man. <gasps> No, stop it. Are you okay, Date? No, he's insane. He's gone off the deep end, boss. Perhaps it's time for his medication. He's gone off the deep end. He, we can't come back from this. Map, holy shit. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, we're in the car. I mean, how, how, how else are we going to get there? What's your sheet at diner? Oh, hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. I flashed my badge. Oh, heavens, no. I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? <laughs> Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. She hurried out with the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Do I have you in... No, not yet. Could you put that knife down, please? Oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. What do you... Why well, you we put the knife down on the table beside her? Time to examine the entire room again. Can't, I can't wait to look at the table and have him say, that's the table. Grassy. <laughs> Oh god, who, who would have guessed? Who could have seen this coming? Gotta wonder what this chair is. A round chair. A large jellyfish. A l what? Sure, it's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. What? So you examine a chair every single time it's always been, oh hey, that's a chair, but now you get some special dialogue. What? Beer cases. Menus written on the wall in Tanzaku paper. 
A stool. Nah, it's jellyfish, Dante. What are you talking about? Nothing but a window. <laughs> a bookshelf. It's got stickers on the side of it. A lucky cat statue. Meow. Meow. What the hell? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. And why are you doing it? Is that right? Lucky cat statue. <laughs> meow at it, Dante. Now. We'll see your tea television. Think gets any channels? Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. So it's a useless TV? Why would you have a useless screen here? She's cute. Date, please. You have zero standards, Konami Date. Okay, so I can't examine this. I can examine literally everything else. Not okay. You know what? Sure. First, most chopsticks. Condiments. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Unidentified liquid. It says Mayumi's black sauce. Her black sauce. So ah, oh, yeah, that's not threatening. There, there's a problem for menu. There we go. There's a menu on the table. Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red wine. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. Oh, don't worry, dear. I just boiled a real, a real kid and put it in the wine. Mayumi, what are you talking about? I've studied wine for years and I haven't, I haven't heard anything about this. We're gonna strategy are using to make this wine. Is real people flesh necessary for it to taste well? It's the autograph of Iruka from Dark Zone Kalimas? Ooh. What? Who? I am with you, Date. What? There's all kinds of celebrities that came here, I guess. Of course, of course I can examine the mop. Or a bucket. Does this remind you of your delinquent youth? Why would a bucket remind me of my delinquent youth? Hey now, don't judge a book by its cover. Why would... Besides, I have no memory of my youth. I wouldn't know. Why would a bucket have anything to do with it anyway? Counter. The counter. <laughs> it's a great insight here, Dante. I really love your contribution on these things. Swimming door. It's a sw uh, no, actually. A swinging door. Got it wrong, actually, don't they? Got to watch out there. Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. From the what? She forces Oda to buy them. <laughs> I know it. Who? Dante, there's a paper slip on that cardboard box. Why not try enlarging the image? Okay, okay, Jesus Christ. Looking at it. Does that say Amazon? No, it's, it's Asamon. Asamon.co.jp. I oh, guess my favorite company, Asamon. The sender is Great Grin. Great Popular grin. Online store. Product description reads solid model. Oh no. We should look inside. Use the X ray mode. Oh my. Now, what is this? It's a fucking a figurine. Solid PVC model of a person <laughs> known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. 
What's going Allow on? Me to investigate. A moment, please. What the hell was that heartbeat? You're just gonna... Just gonna leave it at that? A set. Does that mean that there's a B set? It says good luck. Cushion. Small sitting cushion. This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. What? You reached pretty far back for that reference. Funniest prop compilation? What are you, Aiba, what are you That's talking just about? the calendar. Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. How? I'm kidding, of course. It's an awesome joke there, Mayumi. You really got us. We are laughing our asses off. <laughs> why, why do you keep staring at me? There's a kitchen knife on the table. Something is engraved on the handle. Can I zoom? Ah, oh, yes. I can read that. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Can you say what it did? Can you say what it says? I can't really Mom, read. I love you always. Mom, I love you. Huh. So is that oh, Oda's knife? That knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. Okay, so he gave you a knife. For Mother's Day. He knows how much I love flowery designs. Here, Mom. I know you love flowery designs, so here, I got you a knife. What? I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. So, uh... How much you want to bet that that knife's going to be important later? There's a phone here. Ring, ring, <laughs> ring, ring. Oh, sorry. Gotta take this. What are you doing? Mayumi, please. Sorry. Just trying to lighten the mood. Why? Because there's a, there's a guy standing in your room just looking at everything mindlessly? Uh, where's your husband? I think... He went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. But you just forgot about the rain? Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband. But it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Mayumi. I thought your husband was dead. <laughs> you were being so incredibly evasive when I asked where your husband was that, you know, I, I really believe that he was just fucking dead. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean... Never mind. Huh? That could mean what? Aiba, please. Okay, how long have you been here? We're just gonna oh, ask about ourselves. Oh, 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started. <laughs> but back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. Uh, Shoko, do you know who she is? I decided to ask her about Shoko, just in case. Brought out the picture of Shoko and showed to Mayumi. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Why do you both have blue hair? It. What? Why do you both have blue hair? Uh, it's Ota here. That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. What? What kind of office? Oh, uh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens, no, nothing like that. No, Date, it's worse. It's a weeb convention. 
If you'd go there, you'd die immediately from cringe. Oh god, Iba, we gotta be careful when investigating that place. <laughs> Otto wouldn't go to a place like that. Well, what kind of place is it? Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. Doesn't sound too bad. What's the name of the company? Um, what was it? Wait. It's... Renyu manages the entertainment office Lemniscate. Blitz. Oh my god, please be Lemniscate. I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. It's gonna be. Please be Lemniscate. Oh, I'm gonna be so proud of myself for noticing one word if it does turn out to be Lemniscate. Because there's God, goddess there? What? what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. Oh, God. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. Oh, God. He's, He's a weeb. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. So is this witch working there? Yes. <laughs> that good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Of course, we can't we can't have one Japanese game without having an idol. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. Oh, she's getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Uh, can you call him? Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? Doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. Yeah, don't you agree, Date? Since you don't have one. This line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. He does have a phone. Date, why do you why do you not have a phone? I've already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal code. I'm saying that he might be dead, Iba. Date, I found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. A set figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemniscate. Man, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemniscate. Renju owns that company. Whoa, no, really? <laughs> uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemniscate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iva, bring the car around. At once. Uh, how about this idol? Let's ask more, actually. She mentioned a box. Yeah? She did. We've already looked at the box. We've already... Dante, we've already... Dante, we've already looked at the box. Okay, well, okay, we're leaving. Goodbye. Those fucking are those fucking weeb comics. What the hell is that? Are those these so-called manga that the kids these days read? Is that Oda? Correct. He's just fucking sitting there. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? Hi. I'm a badge. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police?
Hell yeah, we can investigate another room. What the hell? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. It's just a fucking woman staring at me. Why the fuck are you here? Okay, well. Low table. Hey, Iva. What do you think would happen if I flipped this table over right now? What? It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're probably right. Guess I won't. Hey, Iva, what if I just killed everyone in this room right now? It would probably lower your your salary. I about what? I think a lot more would happen. How to take a girl home in just two minutes. I think I'll take a look at that. Date, no! A machine full of drinks. So far, a sofa. It's a sofa. It's a really complicated way of saying so far. Why would you say so far? A plant. Look! Ants! Oh my god! Look at them go! Yay! You need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. Oh yeah, she likes insects, doesn't she? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Marginal videos of the agency's talents are playing. Nothing dirty though. This is that kind of company. Date, please stop thinking about that. A large window. Goddamn. Are you sure, Date? Abstract what painting hung up. Supposed to be? I do not know. <laughs> I do not know. It's idiotic. The company's logo. Then the skate. It's the reception desk. There's a receptionist. <laughs> There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. That. Dante. Dante. Got it. Oh my god. I don't want to even look in my direction. He's just stopping away on his laptop. Nice one. He's a real gamer. Nothing. Could you stop <laughs> Could you look at me? I'm kind of busy right now. With what? Oh, I can examine this laptop. Actually, I'm missing out on content. Break that thing in half. If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. Oh, uh, what can you tell me about last, last night? night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, don't look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution oh my of God, he's smart. Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. Oh God, he's a smart kid. This is the type of kid I hate the most. Smart ones. You a fan of an A-set? How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me? Butcha! So I could look around for alternatives. Uh, no. Date, wait. No, Iba, please. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Iba, please, no, I've got a goal. What should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Kick him, yes, that's even better. I told you to wait. No, 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 no. Maybe he's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Otis PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? 
Are we gonna hack into his fucking PC? Curious, so I hacked into it. Oh, you you already did it. You already did it. Okay, nice one, Iba. What? Does Tessa refer to Aset? What the hell? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. To Wither. Really, game? Really, really subtle there. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Wait, is he just talking to himself? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. So he's just talking to himself. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. Really, Ota? This kid is pathetic. <laughs> God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, kid. Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. Ah, <sighs> fine. Great. All right, why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Oh, she's a podcaster. Oh, no. Why don't you start with the fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Oh, that please stop simping. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh, God, Just please. Don't do it again, okay? All right, about last night. Let's finally get to the point. I'm going to ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around? Yes. Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. So you, now you're just blackmailing him. Hey everyone, uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Shh. Let's oh. ask you again about last night. Come on, Ota. I went to Bloom Park... Because I was supposed to meet someone. Was it Mizuki? Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. So... No, we're not gonna ask... She's just a friend. We're not, the, we're not gonna ask him if he actually meet, met up with her. We're just gonna go straight to how he knows her. Yes, yeah, she better be. Oh my god, Dante. Why, why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to call it? Oh, Ty, you're like 24, apparently. You gotta calm it down. So that's Miyumi. Nothing too special. Ota isn't in here yet. Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. 
That's a, he he lied really quickly then. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota, how about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She's 12. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. She's 12, okay. Don't know if you're... Don't know if... That's a trait. That's visible that soon. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? Okay, we're going into a really specific question right now. Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. Yeah, you wouldn't know that, would you, Date? Because she doesn't have a fucking cell phone. Like, why? Come on, man. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but... It said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Okay, that's not that detailed. Come on, what you gotta next? go on. I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. So you both went in together. And Mizuki just stared there. She, she just stood there staring. And you left her. Yeah, that too. What? Did you leave her there? Really, you Ota? A 12-year-old girl by herself? Really? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. <laughs> oh, because that sucks. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I tried using my cell phone at first. But my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. I guess the Mizuki didn't kill her then. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Oh god, here she is. Tessa! Oh Jesus. Why the zoom in? So now we're just gonna sit here? And you are? Hi. Mr. Date from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean, a detective? Yeah, uh... Wow! I've never met uh, a real detective before! Please leave me alone. I look very irritated right now. <laughs> he, uh, he looks so pissed off. Ah, uh, she's here too. Oh uh, no. Why the heartbeat? Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Date, calm down, come on. Is something the matter? No. Nothing. Uh, let's start with Ota. Did she talk to her about last night? Oh, um. I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Yes, huh? Hey, at least he. At least she's honest. A shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Oto wanted her attention. 
He told her about a dead body he found for attention. Really, Ota? Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. What? He told me he saw the body. But how is it all over internet? Wait. Are, how the fuck did it get all over the internet? Okay, we're just gonna ignore that part. Sure, sure. <laughs> Took a choke of sword from my pocket to show it to Ota. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Uh, is that a thing we should tell them? Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renjin's ex-wife. We're not gonna tell them about it. Okay, that might be for the best. Tessa, you always look so cute. Ota, stop. So, so cute. Ota, stop. So cute that I can't take it. Please. Don't you think so too, Date? You're Ota. awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. Ota, please. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff. You know? I should not have asked you about that. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, we got Ota in here now. Yeah, he's 24. Likes a set, of course. Okay, not really anything too special. A set. Are you a set? Let me confirm something. You're a set, right? Let's play a game. Shadows. Oh no. Um, thread, silhouette, a set. Fears. Uh, upset, regret, a set. Water. Huh? Wet, sweat, a set. <laughs> Yay! A set, you bet. What the hell just happened? That's a dot. <laughs> I'm with you here, man. What the hell just what what held you what just transpired? The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. The fucking Oh god, it's the 4G. How old are you? I turned 18 this year. Oh, of course you did. A senior in high school? Of course you did. Oh god. We're following anime rules. Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. I recommend that to him too, but if he's gonna listen, I don't know. I don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. I'll tell you better not. Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? I don't know. No. I can't. Uh, you're friends with Mizuki? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am. Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter. So, we hang out sometimes. Okay, you know, that makes sense. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... She can not live on the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. Totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Why are you not keeping an eye on her? She's 12. You, you should know where she's going. We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. Oh my god, he's literally just the simp. That's literally it. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Stop, you're making me blush. This guy. Oh my god. Oh, we're just gonna tell her about the sock puppeting? Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on the two winner. Wait! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Oh my god. Date. Yeah, just be cool. Alright, well, we're going then. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information How? for us. 
Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nodami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. Why? You'll what? You what? Please take me with you. Why would- Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Why? Why would you care? Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? Well, if you're gonna keep this up, I'm gonna fucking take you in. That's what Oto was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. <laughs> Please leave her here. Oto, take a video. Huh? Just do it. Of what? What? Please, Mr. Dante, you can't leave me. What? I can't imagine life without what? you. What are you doing? Ota, did you get it? Are you going to blackmail uh, me with this? Yeah. Are you going to Are you going to blackmail me with this? Wrong. <laughs> I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Uh -huh. God. Hey, Seth, what the fuck is that? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? You're gonna you? blackmail me with that, a aren't you? Servant. I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... What? Cut. I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. I'm not taking you. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. I'm not taking you. No. Dante, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Oh, no, really. I'm not... I'm, d I'm not... Please don't make me take her with me. Please don't. Ah, oh, they're gonna make me take her with me. <laughs> oh god. Please don't be here. Please don't be here. Please don't be in the car with me. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. This car isn't a domestic. It's made in Australia, so the steering wheel is on the right side. It's because they also drive on the left side of the road. Wait, we are driving on the left side of the road. Why? Yeah, Indians use the left too. What? Oh, nothing. Just thinking. Dante, what? It's in the console. It's got AC and radio controls in it. Don't expect anything else, honestly. <laughs> I can remotely control it. I could see the dashboard, right? There. The dashboard. Dash has a ton of stuff built in. As the speed a speedometer, tachometer, and other meters and gauges. Left box. Hey, you got any guns in here? No. I bet you do. No, not in there. So you do have a gun. I'm gonna shoot you. Rearview mirror. Can't see the scenery. We gotta talk to her. But Ota. Why do you ask? <laughs> you two are very close. For an idol and a fan. Ota is... Special. He really is like a hero to me. Hero, huh? Why? Uh, Bamasuki, sure. 
We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. What? You're like six years older than her. That isn't even that bad. Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. Well, you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? Oh, she's an e-girl. I'm most famous on the internet. Oh, no. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Oh, my God. Even worse, she's a streamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The worst of it all. <laughs> Oh. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. It's Minecraft. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? Oh my god. I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. How did you start working for Landscape? Well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but... I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. One of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Whoa. Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway. One day, Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. Okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. Questions. Questions. Are you going to ask me about a gun again? What's it like being a detective? Okay, well, that's just a very generic about... question. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But you are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? That's sink. The sink you in it? Or something? Gonna tell me, please. Just silence. Just focus on the car, right? Just thinking about posting that video. Why we're almost Whoa, there? Hold up now. Well then, tell me. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? What, you're gonna edit yourself out or Sometime something? Sometime real soon, I'm going to die. What? What? <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> Excuse me? I can see into the future. Are you... So we're just going here now. This is where we're at? Really? I know when I'm going to die. That's... And we're just gonna accept this, right? We're just gonna... Are we not gonna question this? <laughs> just kidding! Are you fucking... You know... I'm not sure, she is kidding. We are we are playing an anime game. We this, fucking anything can happen. I hope so. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. Oh my god, she oh, she can see into the fucking future, can't she? I fucking bet you that she that she can. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date. I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. You sure? I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Yeah, because that's worth a lot. By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris. Iris Sagan. Okay, no, I know. That's fair. Weird, right? How? It's... How? Is that my fucking heartbeat again? Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's 
Man. What? Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? What the fuck was that? No, it's nothing. Do I know her too? Date, why the fuck do you know everybody here? What? Man, Date, you seem to know literally everybody here. It's almost like you're the protagonist or something. Da Excuse me. You Konami Date? That's right. Yep, I'm Konami Date. And I know everybody involved in this and case. The girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. It's not like a policeman can just reject you. I'm pretty sure Date here is of a higher rank. I couldn't hold back her excitement and rush down to the scene. Well, the body's gone. Uh... There we go. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. This is certainly an interesting game, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh God. I did not think that we would be getting so anime this soon. Like it's going really fast. <laughs> oh, but that, it's fun, it's fun. I've been wanting to play a more dialogue heavy game for a while now. After all the return the Obra Dins and Unheards and whatever the hell. Um, so yeah, now I, I'm gonna... Uh, I, I can't stream on Friday, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to stream on Friday for a couple weeks, actually. I'm gonna be busy every single one. Uh, or at least the coming uh, two Fridays. So tell you what, I'm gonna... Uh, I'll stream tomorrow. I'll move it to tomorrow because I do have time then. And I'll do that for next week as well. And then after that, we'll see. So I'm going to move the stream to tomorrow. Then I'm not going to be able to stream on Friday and uh, Saturday. And then I'll be back on Sunday. So that's how it's going to go. All right. Well, uh, I'm excited to continue this. I hope you are too. Uh, hopefully I'll see you back tomorrow. Goodbye. Have a nice, have a nice night or day or whatever.